So even a 64K computer can only store as many characters as a 32-page book. And a 32K computer only as many as a 16-page book. Although, of course, a computer can do a lot more with its characters than a book can. But that's another story. Bits and bytes. Hmm. So this is a 32K computer, 32,000 bytes. But didn't it say something about 31,000 bytes when I first turned it on? How do I get back to the beginning? The easiest way is to just switch the computer off then on, but... There. You see? 31,743 bytes free. But why doesn't it say 32,000 bytes free? Because the computer has to keep some in reserve for various operating functions. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I've lost my place in the word game program now. I'm sorry, but you've done more than lose your place. When you turn the computer off, you make the entire program disappear from its memory. Now you know why the on-off switch is hidden out of the way. I sure do. Okay, well, how do I get back to where I was? You have to go through the whole loading process all over again. Rewind the cassette, type load, then hit return. Then press play on the cassette recorder, then you type run and hit return. Oh, isn't there a quicker way? Yes, there is. There's an Apple computer right beside you that's already hooked up to a device for getting at ready-made programs very quickly. It's called a disk drive. Oh. All right. Uh, switch is in the back, I suppose? That's where it is. There's nothing on the screen? No. The Apple uses an ordinary TV set, and you have to turn the screen on separately. Oh. Okay. Oh, here it is. Now, do you see that envelope beside the computer? Uh-huh. It contains something called a floppy disk. Take the disk out and turn it so the label is up. Make sure the slot is facing away from you. What's this? Okay. Now lift the flap on the disk drive. That's this here. Slide the disk in and close the flap. Okay, label up. There. Oh, choose a game. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Instant Zoo. I think I'll play that. Now just follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, it says press one, two, three, four. It's number one. And press return. Loading Instant Zoo. This is a pattern recognition game prepared by the Sesame Street people. Oh, that sounds like fun. Instant Zoo, an animal guessing game. Okay. Here comes an animal. Try to guess what it is. Okay, let me see. Let me see. To see more, press return. Okay, there we go. When you want to guess the animal, press the ESC key. And that, there it is. Oh, I know what that is, I think. Fish. It's a fish. Let me see now. F I S H. Turn. Hey, I'm right. It's a fish. And a musical one, too. Yep, it's a fish. You're really in the swim of this game. <laughs> okay, press return. And what's this animal now? When you want to guess the animal, press the ESC key. Okay, that looks like. These look like ears to me. Wait a minute. Yes, see, the animal is a rabbit. Okay, R A B B I T. Hey, I'm right. It is a rabbit. Ah, well, what else is there to see? How how can I choose another program? You hold the control key down and press the reset key. Control, hold down, reset. Boy, oh boy, this floppy disk really is fast. Can I have a look at it? Certainly, just pull the disk out. Okay. It doesn't look much like a disk. It's not round and it's not all that floppy. People are often confused when they first see a floppy disk because it doesn't even look like a disk. For one thing, it's square, not round. They're also confused by how disk drives work. So we went to Hewlett Packard and asked them to explain. A floppy disk uses a much faster method of retrieving and storing programs than a cassette. The cassette is in a much more durable package, but 
you have to allow for rewinding and fast forwarding to build up from one spool to the other. The floppy disk is more fragile than a cassette since the actual media is more readily exposed to the user and can come in contact with the hands and fingerprints that could cause problems. But if kept proper care of, it's a much faster and more reliable method. Inside the jacket, you'll find that there is actually a round floppy disk. It is very much like a flat circular audio tape. The material is very similar to that in a cassette tape, iron oxide metallic particles. However, the plastic is much thicker in this case. And there is a lubrication film applied. There is a small felt-like surface built into the envelope. That allows the disc to slip evenly and smoothly inside the jacket. There is also a slight airflow built up by the disc turning inside the jacket. The disc itself has no physical grooves or lines on the surface. The disc is actually broken up into tracks, round tracks. The head steps in to each of those tracks and reads the information on them. The computer sets up a directory on the outermost track of the disk. The directory tells the computer exactly where on the disk a program would lie. This is the actual read write head. There is the electromagnet that does the reading and the writing on the surface. As we load the disk into the drive, close the door, the head comes in contact with the disk. Now as the disk spins, the head will move across the surface of the disk. The magnetic head itself changes the polarity of the magnetic particles on the surface of the disk, the iron oxide particles. This south-north change in magnetic polarity allows the disk drive to store the information in a form of ones and zeros on the disk. The reason that the floppy disk is so much faster than a cassette is simply that you can access the entire surface of the disk with the head. At this point, we have all the advantages of a record. We can start at the beginning and we can go directly to the end if we like. The floppy disk is just the smallest in a whole family of disks. This floppy disk is a five and a quarter inch floppy. We also have the eight inch floppy. The five and a quarter inch floppy we'll see mostly in home computers and very, very small business computers. The eight inch floppy disk is much faster and holds many times more data than the five and a quarter inch floppy. The eight inch floppy still is restricted to business computer applications. As far as hard disks go, this is a single platter removable cartridge for a hard disk. The head never physically touches the surface of the disk. It's suspended by a very, very thin film of air. This disk can retrieve and access information at an incredible rate. A more advanced form of the hard disk is a multi-layer disk. In this particular disk pack, we have five platters that can be recorded and played back on each side of the disk, giving us 10 total surfaces to read and write on. This large five-layer disk pack has the capacity to hold as much information as almost 500 of these floppy disks. Okay, so now I know how to load a ready-made program into a computer by means of disk or a cassette. Is it the same for all these computers? Yes, it is, with a few very minor...